The next suggestion is to try to think in Spanish. This course is different from traditional methods. You're not going to need to conjugate verbs or read and answer questions. Instead, you're going to be learning Spanish with flashcards or word lists, getting to a mastery level, and then applying them in dialogues that prepare you to use Spanish in a real conversation. Follow the rules for practicing the mini dialogues. They're designed to make you repeat and repeat and repeat until you become comfortable. You don't need to skip around or try to make things up. You're trying to build fluency. Just follow the pattern. When the pattern becomes natural, you'll be able to use it without thinking about it. That's what fluency is. Another big recommendation is to learn by example rather than by rule. Grammar rules help you understand why something is said or how to edit something you've written, but it takes too long in conversation to try to remember the chart in your head. For that reason, it's better to learn whole phrases that express the rule in a context. You can use the expression now in conversation, and you're also learning the rule. For example, rather than learning all of the rules for when to say esta and es, both of which mean is, learn some of the applications of those verbs in context. For example, you can learn donde esta, where is. Esta is used for location. You're learning something useful, and you're also learning the rule that you can then apply to another situation. Cuando es, when is, because es is used with time. You're learning how to ask something practical, and you're also learning the rule in context that you can apply to other things later.